welcome to my channel or welcome back loyal viewers. I'm Carrie, the nosy house frau. And today I'm sticking my nose in on the piping hot tea that is Onision, Greg Rumpelstiltskin, James Jackson, Jingleheimer, Schmidt, Suing, Chris Hansen, and Repsion. So there I was living my the best it's going to be for right now life when somebody put out the drama bat signal. Ma, 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 ma tea. So it's true, Repsion and Onion both live in the state of Washington, and today Repsion was served papers. Here's what he had to say about it on Twitter. The mic I'm about to drop in the next two weeks is going to be something that has only ever happened to one YouTuber ever on the entire platform so far. Make me number two. It's ridiculous, effing stupid, and makes me angry, but you're going to laugh your ass off. I legally have to keep my mouth shut until it's finished. That's all I'm saying. I'm involved in it. The thick of it. This is really not how I wanted to start off 2020, but here we go. After the 24th, I will be creating a GoFundMe for legal fees. Until after that point, please do not donate to any GoFundMes that aren't tweeted by me directly. Receipts will be posted once complete. Now before I get to speculating about the charges, because I have thoughts on that, I want to endorse Repsion's GoFundMe. For anybody who is, might be on the fence and wondering about him, maybe you don't know him, let me tell you what I know about him. I think the reason he's not collecting money right now is because he wants to be sure not to collect more than he needs for the legal fees. For the longest time, people have offered him money for legal fees, and he's always said, not yet, not yet. Let me go back even further to tell you about his integrity. He may not even remember this, but back in the day, about 11 years ago, I had a channel called Wise Apple, talking about tolerance and religion. And he had a similar channel. And we were DMing back when you could still DM on YouTube. And he was getting ready to go to Africa to make huts for people because he felt a calling to do that. He never once bragged about it. He kept it on the DL. And he wasn't immature like James Charles. Oh my God, sisters, I hope I don't get Ebola. Nothing like that came from him. And I remember years later hearing Joy from her couch tell him, go out and help people, do something for the world, you know, if you're so concerned, to paraphrase. And I remember thinking, tell her, you know, and he never did. He never said, bitch, did you make cuts in Africa? Because I did. I don't need you schooling me on how to be a humanitarian from your couch. He never went there. That I heard. And... He could have. He could have easily. Not that he's never defended himself, but my point is he doesn't seem very ego-driven to me. He has admitted some of his faults in the past. He's pretty open and honest. When it comes to this specifically, I fully endorse him, and I think if any of my viewers want to help him out, that would be great. Um, and, you know, if, if he has a little bit extra, who cares? Buy yourself something shiny. You've earned it. And you can be sure there'll be full transparency from him on that. I just expect that 100%. And it's funny, it's been, what, 11, 12 years, and I still think of him as a kid. He's still, to me, he's that kid on YouTube. Some people we're watching grow up and grow old in some cases. So it's kind of cool how long we've all been on here. And wouldn't it be amazing to see Onision beaten in court, which I think he would be. So let's get to that now. What are the charges? A lot of people are saying it's copyright, but it's both Chris Hansen and Repsion. And Repsion's video about the copyright strike was supposed to expire on December 7th, according to a video he had up a month ago, unless I'm missing one. I know now with the new terms of service, it could be people have to take stuff down. Uh, so <clears throat> forgive me, just a little teeny tiny cup of coffee here. Mm. So people are probably taking down videos. I think I'll probably take one down. I've only done a, f a couple, two, three, on Onision over the year, the last couple of years, um, just simply because it's a lot harder to talk about people you truly don't like, you know? And you should never wait to tell people how much you don't like them because someday it might be too late. I have disliked Onision 
longer than I've known who Repsion is. I remember a time on YouTube, oh, were we ever so young? Some of you kids maybe weren't born, I don't know. <laughs> but there was a time where the world just wanted you to know that Onision was a banana. Oh, it's so funny. He's a banana. Listen to him sing it. It was everywhere. His comedy was always annoying. And there was a short window where young girls just loved him. And uh, now we know how mutual it is. Look, hate is a strong word. I don't like to use the word hate. But I hate that son of a bitch, and I hope he gets annihilated in court. I really do. I will rejoice. It will be a, a teeny tiny victory. We can't solve pollution. We can't stop all the wars. Maybe we can't pull the troops out. But we can get this guy because he is unhinged. Now, I'm going to get real serious for a moment. Does anyone else feel concerned about this court date? I think it's the 24th. I'll put it up here. I am uncomfortable to say the least, with the thought of Onion and Repsion being in the same place at the same time. Now, before anybody says what he's capable of, just remember, anybody is capable of anything under certain circumstances, and this unhinged person has felt backed into a corner. So I believe personally that it's not a copyright strike. I think it's a harassment suit. I think he's like going to want a restraining order and say that these people are stalking him because you remember that was his narrative on the 911 call. Let me go to that for a moment. First of all, Chris Hansen went to Onision's house. I think I have an unpopular opinion about this. I was horrified, not just uncomfortable and cringy. I was thinking, why am I seeing the front of this guy's house? This is doxing and I don't like this. I don't like that you went to his house. I don't know about you, but I don't like somebody knocking on my door, even when it's something I ordered from Amazon Prime. I'm prime, <laughs> like looking out the window, hearing my grandmother Florence's voice. Be very careful, Carrie. Sometimes they rob the Woolworths and then they come in your house and they try to take you hostage. Listen, it's 2020. It's scary. I don't like anyone coming to my door. And I know a lot of people have said Chris Hansen is a journalist and this is what journalists do. They shouldn't. Okay, if this is what journalists do, that's not the answer. That doesn't excuse it. Uh, don't go to someone's house and knock on their door and put it on the internet. He knew darn well that Onion wasn't going to talk to him for less than whatever he said, 300000 There was no chance that he was going to talk to him. And there was no need to expose that he was actually at home and not living in a box somewhere because everybody already knew that. The people who took him seriously, that did piss off Onion. And he's the one who said, listen, obviously I'm just joking about my meltdown. But I thought it was particularly amusing when people would take him seriously. It was very obvious he wasn't serious, but I liked that it annoyed him that some people took it seriously. So that wasn't anything that needed to be exposed. There wasn't, was there really a single person? There, there must be, there always is some, but there, it's odd to me that people would think he wasn't having a fake meltdown to hide his real unhinged, unhinged state. See, unhinged. So yes, I'm very against going to the house. I'm uncomfortable with that. There are children there. And now supposedly part of this lawsuit involves the children. So that really can't be about a copyright strike. His children are involved. I can't wait to hear what Repsion has to say when he gets to, to be able to talk about this. It's going to be very interesting. But I do believe personally that Onion's stance is that his life is in danger. He's being harassed, systematically stalked and bothered by these people. And he's pursuing that. I feel, even with Chris Hansen at his door, which I'm not comfortable with, I feel that he should be responsible for abusing the 911 system. He never at any point had his life in danger. If somebody does have their life in danger, they certainly don't need the 911 emergency system tied up with people like Onision uh, talking about his stalker, knowing full well it the, at best it's harassment. His life was never in danger. He should have just called his local police. I haven't heard anybody say that. Everybody's like, well, he called the police. He called 911. That's a much bigger deal. If you dial 911, you better have an emergency. And it sounds like they dispatched it based on the emergency that he called in. So the police were there and they were no strangers to him, according to, to Chris Hansen, who was standing outside by the squad cars with the cameras still talking. You're allowed to be on the public property on the street. I mean, obviously the police weren't concerned with Chris, Chris Hansen being a problem because they didn't remove him. So he had his say. Don't get me wrong. 
I'm really glad that name is on his lips because if Chris Hansen's talking about you, you did something. I'm just saying that's my feeling. It is my contention that in this case where there's smoke, there's probably some fire. So, uh, yeah, I'm fully supportive of him. I think that they're going to make short work of him in court. There is going to be so much evidence to the contrary. Um, unfortunately, keep this in mind. If this case involves him saying he's being harassed or stalked, in a civil court, it's going to be a little different. A, more things are admissible. I'm not a lawyer. Ask a lawyer. I do have a brother who's a lawyer, but I can't bother him with this. <laughs> and, um, I, I pick those cards carefully. <laughs> I think that they may get to have their say about why it's not stalking, but I don't be surprised if it's a stalking charge. A lot of people are saying copyright. I saw so many people on Twitter saying copyright. I think it's stalking. I think he's actually going there. What do you guys think? Thank you so much for listening. If you've listened this far, I really appreciate you. I'm looking forward to your thoughts. All we have is commiseration until this whole thing blows over. But it's been a little surreal. I don't know about you, but I tend to think like we live in kind of a YouTube bubble. And then when the news gets hold of it and somebody you see every day on YouTube is suddenly in the mainstream news, it's sort of like, oh, they know about us? <laughs> of course they do. So update, can you believe this crap? I ran out to get Pat, grabbed a Scooby snack, very healthy one, love cilantro, mama needed sustenance. And I checked Twitter and somebody's like, it's a restraining order, watch this. And I was like, I knew it. It is a restraining order. See how fast these things unravel? I'm sure it'll be listed. Uh, I think it's the Pierce Courthouse in Washington. The 24th, he filed two separate suits. I'm assuming it's a larger case in civil court because remember there's small claims court, which you could file for like $49. But then this could be larger, and I don't know if it's different based on these kinds of charges, but there is a restraining order involved. I'm telling you, he's going to play that stalker card. So let's stay tuned and see what else unfolds that we can find out without Repsion telling us, because of course he can't speak to us right now. Um, we'll see. Tell me what you guys think. Until later. House route out. <laughs>